I played the bassoon uh, as a child, which is a big woodwind instrument. But it was a very big instrument to carry around. I think I was a little late in getting organized, and it was the last instrument they had left at school. <laughs> I'm Maria Shaw. I'm the VP and Chief Information Security Officer of Bavarian Medical Systems. So Varian is a company that specializes in, in making machines that treat people for cancer. And we also make software uh, to help, you know, how do we determine the right treatment for patients? How do we help the patients track their progress? So, so you know, Varian is, is one of those companies that specializes in how do we make the equipment better? How do we come up with better solutions to treat patients? So my role is, is to lead security across Varian. So how do we train the, the different development teams that are developing the machines and the software? How do we train them to make sure that they know how to make secure products? And then similarly, how do we do things with the overall employee base? Mainly I'm trying to understand the risks to the company. You can never have perfect security. A company could spend millions and millions of dollars on security and you could still get attacked. It's all about how do we manage the risks and what's the right level of security? And then also how do you prepare for when things do happen? As a kid, I had no idea what I wanted to be. I didn't know anybody who worked in kind of offices. If anything, I thought I wanted to be a police officer, because uh, I thought that was kind of like helping people and keeping things organized, I guess. <laughs> I knew I wanted to go to college. Right? I wanted to go to college and, and study further. And I think as I went there, I saw more opportunities. I went to Cambridge University and I graduated in computer science. Well, I, I actually wanted to do math, <laughs> but my grades weren't good enough. So um, they offered me the, the computer science with math program and it was a, a, you know, a good opportunity. So I, I actually ended up choosing a, a major that wasn't quite what I was intending. And it was interesting. I mean, I went in to do computer science at Cambridge. I think there were about 100 of us in that year doing it. So it was a challenge, but it was a good experience overall. I got into cybersecurity because it was uh, new. There was a lot going on. It was exciting. I guess I like the idea of keeping the bad guys out. It kind of relates back to that police officer idea in my, in my childhood. So the idea of, hey, helping protect the company, helping protect people. And also I just could see there was a lot of opportunity just because it was growing. It's unfortunately uh, a big area of growth. The criminals are making a lot of money. And companies are having to invest a lot to make sure they, they protect their systems. If I was to think of some of the roles in cybersecurity, I think there are um, roles that relate to um, risk and compliance, testing roles, auditing roles, you know, making sure that people are doing the right thing. There are roles talking to customers. So we have customers asking us all the time about our security, sending us questionnaires. There are technical roles with um, actually implementing tools uh, and then monitoring those tools to see what's happening. And then there are roles within, within the different product teams. So if our teams are building products in the company, there are roles on those teams to make sure that you're building security into those products. So an engineer might have a focus on cybersecurity. You know, they're an engineer on a product team, but they're doing cybersecurity as part of that. Um, I'd say uh, curious. Uh, would be good for cybersecurity. So curious, focused, so you can get pretty, you can dive into details, so pretty detail oriented. It depends. I mean, you can be extrovert, you can be on those roles which are more customer facing, outgoing, uh, communications focused, or there are roles for the more detailed, hands on, technical, you want to work at your desk and focus on your own thing. There are those roles too. I'm passionate because of the company I work with. Um, so I like being in healthcare, being part of um, a company that's helping treat patients. So unfortunately around the world, there's, there's not enough coverage and there's not enough systems, there's not enough specialized people. So I like to be part of a company that's helping help people. To best prepare for a cybersecurity career, I, I would recommend generally a good IT background, a base technical background. You don't need it for all roles, for sure, but I think it, it's good to have that base understanding of how technology works. You don't have to be an expert, but you have to at least feel comfortable with things to be able to then uh, build on top of that in terms of how you secure things. We do have an internship program, both Barry and, and now we're part of Siemens Health and Ears. So yes, we, we bring in students in, in 
different countries over the summers and sometimes longer. And yeah, we do have some interns within the cybersecurity program. Thank you for your time today. I look forward to your questions and I'll talk to you soon. We'd love to hear your questions. Make sure to submit or upvote to have the presenter answer them.